Today marks the official launch of the Scottish Hospitals Inquiry. Welcome. In this short video, I wish to set out how this inquiry came about, my role in it, and how I plan to conduct it. The intention to hold an inquiry under the Inquiries Act 2005 into public concerns over issues arising in relation to the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital campus in Glasgow and the Royal Hospital for Children and Young People and Department of Clinical Neurosciences in Edinburgh was announced by the Cabinet Secretary for Health and Sport in September 2019. I was appointed to chair that inquiry at the end of November. The decision to hold an inquiry reflected a cross-party acknowledgement of the substantial nature of these public concerns, including continuing concerns over patient safety at the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital, notwithstanding the assurances given by Greater Glasgow and Clyde Health Board. In Edinburgh, Families with sick children were being denied access to the most modern healthcare which should have been available at the new facility due to similar concerns over patient safety. Patient safety and the need for there to be public confidence that these two major hospital buildings do not compromise patient safety are therefore at the heart of this inquiry. Patients, their families and the wider public have legitimate questions. It is the function of this inquiry to provide answers. It's the remit and terms of reference which define what the inquiry is to do. These were published on 15th June 2020. I hope that people have had a chance to study them. They've been extensively consulted on, taking into account the views of the affected families, parliamentarians and the relevant party spokespersons. I'm grateful to everyone for their time and input in participating in that consultation. Following its remit, the inquiry will explore the planning, design, construction, commissioning, and where appropriate, maintenance of the two new hospitals. We will wish to understand how issues relating to adequacy of ventilation, water contamination, and other matters adversely impacting on patient safety and care occurred, if these issues could have been prevented, the impacts of these issues on patients and their families, and whether the buildings provide a suitable environment for the delivery of safe, effective, person-centered care. We've noted that there are elements which are common to both the Queen Elizabeth and the Royal Hospital for Children and Young People. They have similar design features. And on both sites, concerns have been raised about the effectiveness of ventilation and the sufficiency of the frequency of air changes. We will reflect on such similarities and indeed differences uh, that we find as between the two hospitals and determine what is to be learned from our findings. We will make recommendations aimed at ensuring that any past mistakes are not repeated in future NHS infrastructure projects. An inquiry set up under the Inquiries Act 2005 is independent. And while we're funded solely by Scottish Government, the conduct of the inquiry is a matter for me and my team. The team will undertake the inquiry inquisitorially. In other words, our role is that of investigators. In order to get at the truth, we have significant powers to secure information. My role is to set the direction of the inquiry and define the list of issues to be considered in order to meet the terms of reference. I consider that the terms of reference are broad enough in scope to ensure that the inquiry can form a comprehensive picture of what has happened and to identify what can be learned from that. That is not to say that every question will necessarily be conclusively answered. That may not be possible. It will depend upon the evidence. It must be borne in mind that while the inquiry will not be inhibited from carrying out its duties by what might be inferred from its findings of fact or its recommendations. The 2005 Act specifically forbids an inquiry from determining any person's civil or criminal liability. That, however, is without prejudice to any action that might be taken by the Crown Office, 
and Procurator Fiscal Service in the light of the inquiry's findings. I'm aware of the ongoing civil action between NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde and the designers and constructors of the Queen Elizabeth. These proceedings will not prejudice the outcome of the inquiry, nor do I intend that they will limit in any way uh, the manner in which the inquiry carries out its duties. I look forward to getting to work on this inquiry and I encourage anyone with information of interest to the inquiry to contact the team. Contact details can be found on our website.